Oh, okay. Yes. yes. Sorry. Yeah, so I'm noticing that like the um, if you assume that the red line is the leading wheel, um, then you can think of the black line as a function of the red line, like moved backwards, uh, because you know you've got one line leading and then the other one's going to follow it somehow. So if you look at like where they where they cross, can you, really you got and point? It's, it's easier to actually point and just describe what you're talking. So I'm trying to I'm trying to look for like a pattern, right? And so I notice like they cross here, and then you've got the red one coming out and going in, and then they cross here, the red one goes out, comes in, and so like where it where they cross and and where the red line being the leading, uh, you know, the leading tire. And I, you know, we don't know which way it's going, so I'll go this way as well. Um, I try to think of the red line as I'm not sure if I'm using these words right, but like the black line is in a sense, derivative of the red line, because the red line is leading it, and the black line is following. So... Well, but if you, if you look right there, it seems like the black line turns up before... So can you help me, where's, where's there? Here? Yeah, right, uh, no, uh, halfway back, yeah, right there. Right here? Uh, so what you're saying is that the black line is... You're saying that... Well, you, are you... Uh, there's a delay to it. Okay. Yeah. This is the delay yeah. stochastic behavior. <laughs> <laughs> let's just assume, let's go with the assumption that the red line is the leading line. Uh -huh. So that at any point on the red line, um, that's that's going to have an effect on the black line, e either this way or this way. It's direction, right. right? And so by looking at that, like that's how, that's how I'm looking at it. Right. Well, so, so if you look that way, and it does that, and if you look the other way, it also does the same thing. Yeah, but it's different, though. It's different. <laughs> okay? I can see a difference. The, bite, can measure difference. the bite's not an accordion, so it whatever happens, happens the same distance away. Yeah. So, yes. Gloria, you have an idea? Mm -hmm. You were trying well, to say something. Else, well, I was just saying that if I took the middle section where he was just standing, where there was that upward sort of parabolic place right there on both sides right here I have a almost even system that maybe we, if we worked on that one part we can make some determinations of so just what is it because I'm slow you, which you mean which part was it this bump you're talking about there extend a little with both of those right and the bump one on each side and the bump so it's like a central a piece of symmetry yes okay. and that's telling possibly you think yes But one happened before the other, so yeah. time-wise, they're not going at the same time. So there's something that's. Picture yourself holding the hand with the. Yeah. Right. Yeah. One of ours. Yeah. Well, I want, want to take a piece of information. Um, when the bike is in contact with the ground, the two contact points of the tire are always going to be the same distance. No, they're not. They're not going to be the same distance yeah. apart because yeah. the, front, the front wheel can turn. Or are we clear on how bicycles are built? Like, that's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Let's see the bike again. Where's the bike? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll be off by a little bit, but okay. Okay, so here's, I'll show you. Here's the bicycle I did bring with me. I did actually pack a bike with me, sort of. Yeah. It's my son's scooter. Oh, but it is actually built the same way as the bicycle, and this one I can actually hold up, so it's probably a little easier for us to use. Yeah, the two contact points are always going to be the same, no matter how you do it. Yeah, so, so, it's, so it's built like a bicycle, but it's got a back wheel and a front wheel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're telling me the two points of contact with the ground are constant? Yeah. No matter which way the front? Yeah. yeah. Or at least the error is pretty small yeah. in relation yeah. to the... Okay, it's, it's true. I mean, the, the tires are round, and probably if I'm turning the corner, I'm like leaning a little bit, and they're probably mm -hmm. sort of changing exactly. which part of the time. Yeah. But within minimal, minimal yeah. parameters yes. of error, mm -hmm. basically okay. that distance should be a fixed distance between yes. the two points of contact. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, so then I think we agree bicycles are indeed built that way. Yes. Yeah. So now, is that a helpful piece of information? No, I don't know. Oh, sure. Let's try it. What's it? Can you can we assume any length between the the contact points? I don't know. No. no. I don't know. How are bicycles built? Oh, that that could be measured by the bike that we actually Yes, you right? can. Uh, All right, but okay. If this you know, is a crime scene, you wouldn't know which bike, bike it was. No, no. But but this is a quick question. Are bikes manufactured in a sort of standard way? Is that length always the same? Yeah. Is that something we can Google? 
No. Definitely. No. Definitely. 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 Definitely.